Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm just I'm really proud of this team. I mean, Baylor is obviously a very very good basketball team. Uh, they led obviously most of the game, um, and at the same time, I'm just I'm, I love the the balance that we have. I love the belief that we have. I love that we just kept playing. Uh, and when we focus on ourselves and just play like that and share the ball, it's really fun. And, uh, you know, the scoreboard then takes care of itself when we do that. We'll get started with questions with James Hale. A great win, uh, ladies. It was really special. Um, you didn't really take the lead, Jen, but you mentioned the sharing the ball. Your, your offense really got going, and Skyler fueled it with her great shooting from the outside and Taylor's great shooting. But... You know, you found a lot of great things in the final five minutes around the bucket, too. And that just shows your offense you keep working at it. It's going to work eventually. Well, you know, yes. And I think there's some areas that we're going to continue to improve. But the way that we do share the ball, the way that we continue to move, uh, I think you can see that, that we're continuing to get better. And... You know, and especially, it's not an easy system. It's not an easy offense, especially when we're down in numbers. And we're down in numbers right now. We don't have everybody. And so for us to be able to play at that pace and that style is not an easy thing to do. But we can do hard things. And, you know, I think just some of the highlight reel material tonight, you know, in terms of our passing, I mean, you look at the way that we ended the first half that, that really gave us momentum going into halftime. I mean, you look at some of the, ba the balls that we shared tonight uh, it was really fun basketball. And I think some of our turnovers even came from trying to overdo it. Um, but you know what? We'll get there. And, and yeah, I, I just think, I think we have a lot of balance. And I think we have a really fun group and a really fun team. Thanks, ladies. We'll go to Jesse Hi, uh, Jenny. I just want to ask. I mean, the, this, this is the first time this program, program has beat Baylor since 2015. 2015. Obviously, Obviously, they're a ranked, ranked team. Uh, the, the way, way you guys, guys won this game, is how, how, how big of a win is this for this program? program? Uh, that's a really good question, and I think um, you're probably going to think it's bigger than what we do. And I think for us, um, I think we're just – I think we're a very good basketball team. I think we just focus on us playing and getting better. And, you know, we're in year one of a new system. And so we try to focus less really on our opponent. So we have respect for our opponent. We're trying to prepare for our opponent. But we didn't make the game this huge game, right? We just made the game a game and the opportunity for us to get, us to, get to play. Now, I will say in those first probably five minutes of the game, we maybe made it a little bit too big and needed to kind of steady ourselves up a little bit and just play. Uh, but I think as the game went on, I think we were able to just play. And, and uh, Skyler, uh, Skyler, obviously, obviously that, that block at the end, end was pretty, pretty huge, huge. Uh, especially, especially considering we had four, four fouls. fouls. It's, it's, it's kind, kind of a risky play. play. Kind, kind of sealed the win. Just how big of a block was, was that? And um, I mean, was, was that kind of your mentality going on that last play? Was to not be afraid of getting that fifth foul? Um. I said it earlier, I, I hesitated a little bit because I did think about my, my fouls. But then I was like, I just had to kind of do, take it for the team. And I felt really confident in it. And I just felt like I could time it right. And it was like the coolest thing I've ever done, I feel like. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow. Appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, set the record, just your thoughts on the record, going five for five from the three point line, and you made some really big threes late in the game. Can you just talk about Taylor's overall game and set the record? You know what? She's so special, and I think um, I love how, you know, because when you get close to a record like this, it's, it's not easy, and, you know, you hear about it constantly, right? So uh, the way that she embraced it, I think, is really special. Um, the way that I think she can share these moments with her dad, I think her dad had a hand in this one today, and that's pretty special too. You know, it's a, uh, um, you know, we probably needed to get her a few more looks than just the five shots, but at the same time, not one of those was an easy look, but she got it in there, and it's it's hours of work, it's belief in her team, um, and it it was probably a little help from above. 
Yeah, Larry, Jesse mentioned about your block. block. I'm going to ask about the, the overall defense as a team down the stretch. You guys ended the game with a 12-2 run. run. Didn't allow a basket in the last, the last four and a half minutes. Just how, how big was the team defense, defense to get this win down the stretch? stretch? I mean, it was mainly communication, I feel like. Like, we're really big on that. And if we lack communication, that's when teams kind of can get in and do what they want. But I think we were just really confident in each other, and we just trusted everything we said that we were able to con kind of take control. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a good night. Congratulations on the win. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to go to Joey. Yeah, hi, Jimmy. Congratulations on the win, first off. Um, I, I think this is the... Fourth time, time you guys have been down, down by double digits this, this year and come back and won a game. game. Just, what, what is it about your team, team that has allowed you guys to be poised in some of those situations to, to make runs and come back and win these games? games. Well, one, we're going to have to stop talking about it because we're attracting it too much because it's probably consecutive games. Um, but, no, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think, you know, I think sometimes you find the balance – of playing a game and you try to win it, right? And then you find the balance of like, okay, here's our expectation. And then you find the balance of, you know, what you're supposed to be doing and what you're supposed to be reading. And I think when, honestly, when we take those things out of equation and we rely on just playing, we're pretty good. You know, obviously we could have rebounded the ball better. I thought our defense was actually pretty good in that second half. We didn't rebound the ball well enough. You know, we've got to be able to finish those plays. We'll continue to do that. Offensively, when we get our tempo going the way that we're capable of doing, uh, which is predicated a lot on our rebounding too, um, but when we just flow into our offense, when we have such balance, you know, and everybody just plays, um, really good things tend to happen and they find us. And then I, I honestly, I think the other thing, um, our crowd got into it tonight. I think that was the difference between our last two home games. I think, you know, our last home game against Iowa State, we needed a little bit more, and that's on us as a team to be able to create that, that energy and be able to get our crowd into it. But tonight, our crowd, our crowd made all the difference in that game, and I think our crowd decided the outcome. Good, good, good morning. Uh, there, there we go. go. Skyler. Skyler. Um, <coughs> I don't, I don't know, know if you caught what, what uh, BJ Cortez, Cortez did about, about a few minutes after you guys finished, finished with Kansas, Kansas on Saturday, Saturday but, but he, he had, had sort of a similar five-minute space like you did at the end of this game, game where he was just, just in on everything. everything. You, you did all that and more, blocking shots, uh, an, an offensive, offensive rebound. rebound. And, and so, so my question is, is as, as it was happening, you were sort of in on seemingly every play. Are you aware of that? Are you? Yeah, well, <laughs> you have a moment. Are you, you knowing you're in that moment, or, or did it have to go look at the play-by-play play 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 after, after the game? game? I honestly probably have to look at play-by-play play play because I'm just locked in, and I'm like, at that point, every loose ball is mine kind of deal, especially in that kind of situation. Like, it's kind of down the stretch. It was really tight, so I was like, I kind of got to get what I can, so. Yeah. You said uh, – that, that, that block, block was like the, the, the coolest, coolest moment, moment of your yeah. basketball life. I think, I think that's, that's what you said. Yeah, like that. that is. But, but uh, like, like three, three minutes, minutes earlier, you blocked Melissa Smith, Smith, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure. Yeah, that was um, I, mean, I mean, and, and I, thought I thought that's, that's what, what kicked it, it off. So, so I, I don't know, have you ever had five minutes uh, like that in the game? Um, I, I really don't know. Kind of because like, if I have like moments like that, I'm probably just like really just, like I said, locked in in the moment and just have that mindset where like, I'm going to get every loose ball, everything I can, so. Yeah. All right, well, nicely done. done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I'd say, I'd say to answer your question from my perspective, I think, I think when Sky just plays, and I think that's also why, you know, she fits in our offensive system so well, too, because she can just make those reads. And, you know, she doesn't go from one point to the other. She's just literally making the reads, and I think she does the same thing on the defensive end. You know, and we're putting her in a position, I mean, she's our center, a lot of the times and she's not a center and so she's just adapting to what we need her to do when we need her to do it and so I think when she overthinks and she over processes and she does that um, it's not to her benefit but when she just plays and she's you know she is the ultimate utility player I mean she does whatever we need her to do whenever we need her to do it and you know I think obviously her size, but she's very undersized for a center, but at least she's long enough to be able to get in there. And she's, you know, she's got really good basketball instincts. 
We're going to go to John Hoover. Sorry. That's okay, okay Patrick. Patrick. Um, so, so, Scott, Scott I, I want to continue that line, line of questioning for just a second. second. Um, did, did you feel different today? today? You know, I mean, when, when you consider, consider the fact, fact that you were you stuffed the box or on the, the offensive, offensive side of the basketball, the defensive, defensive side of the floor, uh, rebounding, rebounding block, block shots, shots, steals, 22, 22 points. points. Did, did you feel, feel different, different about anything, anything going on today? today? Was, Was there something, something up, up, something special about today? <laughs> no, not really. I just, you know, I just come in to play and just have fun with my, my sisters. So, I mean, today just turned out to be a good day. But, I mean, I feel like it wasn't really just me. It was everyone. I mean, if you look at the stats, like, everyone had, some, like, had something to contribute tonight. And that's what got us this one tonight. And I, you know, I'm going to add too, though, I don't think this was Skylar's best game by any means. I think she had great moments, but I think, you know, we get to see her every day in practice and we get to see her compete all the time. And so I think she has moments in a lot of games, but I think her best basketball is still ahead of her. Mm -hmm. Jenny, I want to ask you a follow up too about Taylor's uh, record breaker, the fifth one. Um, she has been, been really working, working to get hard, hard to, to get, get open, open, working hard to get open, open all game. game. And, and she ends up, up uh, kind, kind of, of slipping away on a little bit of a screen. screen. I think uh, Scott, uh, Scott has set the screen. And uh, uh, she, the defender goes under the screen. And she had just enough space. space. I wonder if you could describe that for us as it unfolded. Well, I think a few of them, uh, honestly, I think a few of them tonight that she shot, she had just enough space. And I think, you know, I, as the season has gone on, I feel like her shot's getting quicker and quicker and quicker. And, it, and obviously it has to. I mean, she's... She's no stranger in the Big 12 right now. I mean, everybody knows her. Everybody's guarding her the same exact way. You know, they, they pick her up during free throws. You know, they're not going to give her any, any kind of room at any point. But I do think that um, from that standpoint, I think she does a really nice job because she is pretty versatile. I mean, she can bring the ball up the floor. You know, her teammates find her in the open court in terms of brush screens. I think she moves really well. I think I think we haven't seen the ball find us yet in terms of our movement. Like I think we've I think we've got some good initial look, and I think we're continuing to look at those secondary movements. So once we make that pass, and then that next read. Um, so in that situation, I just I think she's just constantly has her eyes up, and I think we're constantly looking for her um, in some of those reads. And so I think she's doing a really nice job of of making those reads because she had curled a few. Uh, so they have to play her for both. And I think on that one, I think she just had maybe half a second, maybe. maybe. But you know what? She doesn't need any more than that. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Right, go, go ahead and go, go, go last, last one, one for Coach Tyler to Nick Hoffa so we can get to T-Rod. Coach, Coach and uh, Scott are obviously the, the – you guys, you guys didn't get, get, get off to the, a, great, a great start in, in, in the opening game. game. The, the second half, you guys almost came out as a completely different team. Just, just the energy was there, the, the focus was, was there for you guys, and it kind of just amped up as the game went, went along. Say maybe to the, you guys in the locker room just in the, at, at halftime, just what was said and what kind of like key adjustments did y'all make just in, in at halftime to come out the second half, just a completely different team? It's all in the halftime speech, Nick. It's all motivation <laughs> in the halftime speech. Uh, no, I think honestly, I think we just, I think we just settled into the game, and and again, I don't, I don't know if it was that we weren't ready and we weren't focused, or we wanted it too bad at the beginning. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know that answer, and I don't know if if we need to figure that answer out. I think we just know that when when we come out and we are ready to go and we're ready just to play the game and we can take our opponent out, maybe we put too much on this game. I don't, I don't know that answer. Um, we might process through it, we might not, but I think in the second half, I think we were settled into the game already. I think we started to, you know, make a run. I think we got some good momentum. You know, we were even in the second and third quarters and so I think we were okay from that standpoint. We just need to start better, and I think we'll figure that out. Right, thank, thank you. Patrick, Patrick my last name's pronounced Coppola. Coppola. Uh, thank you. My, my thank name you. gets mispronounced, too, and I even mispronounced yeah, her, so we're too. good. So it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks, Skylar. Skylar. You go. I can stay okay. at Taylor, too. Good job, Sky. Thank you. Good job. Try not to make you cry anymore. I know. Sorry. It's twice already. I know. It's okay. And I'm crying too. <laughs> Does that help you? 
Coach I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll get started with Coach T-Roll. Uh, Clay Horn. Here we are. Well, Taylor, Taylor, did you, uh, I, guess I guess I'll just ask, did you ever dream that the, the night you would break the record, the record you would not miss a shot at, at all? I don't I think you did. did. Um, no. I mean, that's something you dream about. Like, that's cool, but I never thought that that would actually happen. And, and Jenny, Jenny, if I could ask you real quickly, because I, I um, you've talked, talked a lot about how when we just play, play we just play, mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're sort, sort of making a case for not, not giving them a whole lot of coaching, coaching you, know, you know, during, during a, a game. game. And, and I know, I know you, you don't mean to give commentary on that, but how do you strike that balance? Because it's interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and you watch me, and I'm constantly yelling and telling them where to go, uh, but in terms of making reads. But here's what I mean by that is, you know, in, in, terms of, in terms of philosophy for basketball, it's about teaching the spacing and then the reads from the spacing, right? So, yes, it's, yes, it's just play. It's not just roll out the ball. There is, there is some method to the madness, but it's also when we do, when we are in our spacing and we do cut – when the ball is in a certain place and we do make those reads, then we can read each other, right? And so that, I know I'm not articulating it very well, but I think it's less, um, our whole teaching philosophy is about making reads. Okay, so uh -huh. it's, not, it's not predicated on a set play call. There's a time and place we'll do that. But I think in the full court, it's about teaching spacing. And then also in our half court, it's about teaching spacing. But it's not, you know, there's multiple spots on the floor. So it can look different in every possession because we have multiple spots on the floor. And any of those spots can be filled. But spots need to be filled, right? And then there's reaction to where the ball goes. So if there's a drive, there's reaction to where, the, where you go. So... Part of it has been learning that, right? Our screening actions, we know one person goes one direction, one person goes another direction. So when we communicate and we make those reads, then your passer is gonna constantly know. So it's constant games of two on two plus a passer or two on two, one person has the ball and you're in two player game. So that's a lot of what our game is. And so I know it's, it's not gonna be a really interesting article, but, um, but yeah, so I think there is, it's a lot of concepts that we're teaching and spacing that we're teaching, but then they get to make the plays in it. Instead of it being, here, the ball goes from A to B to C to D. It doesn't have to do that. That was a really, really bad explanation. This is where you really probably miss Sherry because she can articulate really well. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Just cut that one from the edit, Josh, okay? <laughs> Taylor, congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you know, we watch you so much. much. You deserve uh, everything, everything that's, that's come, come to you. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, curious, and this, this is a question, question for both of you, but in a different perspective. perspective. Taylor, Taylor, you had to work so hard tonight just to get a shot off because of Baylor's length and things like that. Uh, talk to you. I'd, I'd like to know your thoughts as you're trying to run through things, how that happened. And Jenny, if you could get into how the action what, what you, you did, did against, against this defense, defense to get her a few shots. shots. She, she made them all when she got them. Yeah, we need to get her more looks than just the five. So I, I do think that we had um, some were in the full court, some were some off of our play calling. But I also think, you know, just her movement, she's drawing so much attention. So there's so much time that she's drawing two people. And so I think people are going to have to make that decision. So with Taylor getting five shots and we're scoring 83 points, yeah. then that's something that, you know, people are going to have to pick their poison in that. So that's, that's part of it. And part of it is we do need to get her some more looks. But I also think the rest of her game has really been able to expand as well. I think, you know, she probably could have had a couple more assists, you know, if we make a couple more of those kinds of things. But um, I think, you know, I think she's also able to show – some of her guard-like skills in terms of her point guard stuff. I think, you know, she's, she's getting on the interior a little bit more, um, you know, just that kind of stuff. I mean, there were a couple times where she made a pass and then that person made another pass, you know, to be able to get a wide open layup. And so Taylor can see those things. She can see two passes ahead. So I don't think she goes out any night and is like, I need to get mine. I don't think anybody does. 
So I think she she goes out, and I don't even think she thinks she's only going to shoot threes. I think she thinks she's a complete basketball player because she is. Taylor, you've got so much better against space guarding and things, but Baylor is so long. So talk about the challenge for you tonight in getting them shots. Um, yeah, they're very long, um, and whenever we would, somebody would set a screen for me, a lot of times two people would go with me, so then that whoever screened for me would get a wide-open shot, and that's how we were able to get some of our buckets, and that's why I didn't get as many shots, just because two would go with me, and that's great because then somebody else gets a wide-open look, and we can all hit shots on our team, so it's great when that happens. And, and the secondary stuff's coming. I mean, we can see those moments in the game where it's like we want to make that next pass and then that next read, and then we're not quite there yet. But that stuff is – those secondary movements are really starting to come because we're, we, we've just got those primary movements down. That didn't, that didn't explain it well either, but – no, no, no. <laughs> you guys just come to practice and we'll sit down. I'll, I'll give you the whole thing. I 100% will. You just we'll can't publish here. it. Good idea, Bailey. Hey, Taylor, congratulations. Um, Coach mentioned a little while ago about your dad, and I want to ask you, what does it mean to share this moment with your dad and have a big part in what you're doing uh, as a college basketball player? Um. It's really cool. Um, I wish he could be here, but it's really cool to have that. Um, and I know that he would be proud um, because he started it. Um, that's when I was younger. That's we would go and we'd shoot for hours every day, and um, a lot of it is credit to him. Coach Austell mentioned, you know, meeting Baylor. I respect that Baylor. This is the first year of this OU program, and what you guys are doing. There were a lot of former teammates that never beat Baylor. What does it mean to get this win over the Bears? It's really cool. Um, none of us ever have. Um, it's been a while since OU has beaten them. Um, it's really cool because they're a really, really good team. Um, and for us to go out and hang, hang around with them enough and give ourselves a chance at the end um, and be able to gut it out at the end, get stops when we needed to, um, hit shots at the end when we had to. Um, it's just really cool, and I'm glad we all got to experience it. Hey, Lynn, congratulations on the record. Have a good night, okay? Thank you. Good time for a few more. I mean, I guess a little bit, but I also know that why I wasn't getting those shots was because at least two people would be running out at me and somebody else would be wide open. So it's hard to be frustrating when we're getting wide open shots as a team because that's all that matters. Um, yeah. The other question was about a photo that the broadcast showed on TV of you and Lori Cohen sitting on two basketballs. Do you remember that photo? Do you remember when it was taken and the moment, that kind of thing? Um, yeah. I don't remember exactly how old I was, but we were at my grandma's church because I think both of our grandmas knew each other. So we got together at a church in Bueller, Kansas, and we played. We shot around a little bit and we played some horse. Um, and it's just really cool, kind of coming full circle. You know, my first year, my first year in coaching, Lori Kane broke the record, and I was at Kansas State at that time. So to know her and to you know, to know how good she was and for Taylor to be in that kind of company and this early, that's, that's pretty incredible, especially from, you know, two kids from small town Kansas. It's pretty special. Just no. say yes. Just say yes. Lori won't, Lori won't mind. <laughs> I'd like to have another one, another game. We're going to go last one to Nick. Nick. Taylor, I have a quick question, question for you. Um, you played all 40 minutes tonight. tonight. You were on the court the, the entire, entire game. game. I just, I just want to talk about um, over the course of the game, you got on the energy of the team just seemed to continually rise. And then just this, this game, game, you guys showed just a lot of, a lot of grit, a lot of tenacity to come back and get this and get this really impressive win. Just talk to me just about how you felt, just how 
just the energy and you guys' spirits spirit just continue, continue just to rise and just continue to just, just to go up just throughout the game. Um, yeah, we're uh, built for it, um, especially like second halves and fourth quarters um, when we have to make a run, when it's gut check time. Um, that's what we're made for. And um, it just shows like the grit that our team has and the way that we're able to respond when things don't go well and um, the energy everybody has. It's a huge lift whenever, because we're, we're playing hard the whole game, but when a couple things start to go your way, the energy, it's very contagious.